Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to use Calcul Lambda to send native AWS events to your Lambda function running locally and also in remote. This video is a continuation of a series of tutorials that I've been doing where I show you how to use Calcul Lambda to develop, build and deploy Lambda functions with Rust. If you have not seen any of the previous videos, I would recommend you to go watch them because we're going to continue where we left off in the last one. As you can see in my code editor, I have a function handler that receives an HTTP request event. This function handler can also receive events from API Gateway and we're going to take advantage of that today to show you how the invoke command in Cargo Lambda works. First, we're going to start the local development server. And now that the server is running, we want to get an API gateway request payload. In our case, we could download it from the AWS Lambda Events repository, where we have uh, several examples for many AWS services. But Cargo Lambda has a flag to download these examples directly for us. So we're going to use that. This file is called example API gateway request. So we're going to use that API gateway request. And now we just need to tell the command which function we want to invoke. And since the Lambda function will return a JSON document, we're going to format it to be able to look at it a little bit closely. And here it is, the response from my Lambda function that says, hello, me. And this me comes from this example. If you scroll down here, see the query parameters me and since since this is not very personal we're gonna change this payload to make it a little bit personal once the example has been downloaded in your host you can modify it in control lambda invoke fixtures example we can change here the query parameters and if we send the request again, you can see that the response has also changed. So next, we want to test this same payload uh, in the Lambda function that we deployed in the previous video. And in order to do that, the only thing that we need to add to this command is the flag remove. And with this flag, Lambda Invoke will send that same payload to my remote function. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments about Cargo Lambda, you can reach me on Twitter. Have a good day. Bye.